I think hospitals work best is access to diagnostic care. It speeds up um, the time to treatment. It uh, and it's so important in communities. We know the tests are critical, and so um, I'm here to announce. I'm going to get right to the announcement today. Uh, you know, there's a four or five pages of introduction, but I'm going to get right to the announcement today. I'm excited to announce that people in this area will benefit from a new state-of-the-art CT scanner at Squamish General Hospital. How about that? I think that's worthy of applause. This means no more drives to Whistler or North Vancouver to Lionsgate Hospital for CT imaging, which makes a huge difference for people at the hospital, both for the staff, but most importantly for the patients and for their families. It also means a reduction in wait times and an increase in access to timely diagnostics across the region, which can be critical for people not just here, but everywhere. The new CT scanner will help provide timely diagnostic information that leads to higher quality care, better patient outcomes, and improved healthcare delivery while being closer to home. For physicians and other healthcare workers here at Squamish General Hospital, it means you'll have a modern piece of, equipment, of technology to more accurately diagnose patients. It also continues to improve the services available at the hospital and reduces the number of CT requests redirected to other acute care sites. The scanner will provide advanced medical diagnosis for people in Squamish and the surrounding areas, including Whistler, Pemberton, and the North Shore. As I mentioned, uh, patients have had to travel to access CT services, with the closest sites being Whistler Health Care Center and Lionsgate Hospital. Last year, at least 5,500 Howsound residents were redirected to another healthcare facility for a CT scan, 5,500. This will change when the new CT scanner becomes operational by early 2025. The new scanner is projected to perform 7,000 CT scans per year, 7,000. CT scanners combine x-rays with advanced computer processing technology to create accurate, detailed images of internal body structures and organs. It allows radiologists to more easily help diagnose cancer, cardiovascular disease, infectious disease, trauma, and musculoskeletal disorders. The cost is $6.5 million and is being funded by the province through Vancouver Coastal Health. Thank you, Vancouver Coastal Health. Uh, to, for $2.8 million of the capital cost, $2.6 million by the Sea to Sky Regional Hospital District, and we are so grateful to you, and, um, and $1.1 million by the Squamish Hospital Foundation. The project also includes, and you'll see this, we're, we're uh, at or near the site, includes a minor expansion to the hospital with the addition of a prefabricated modular unit to house the scanner, a secondary imaging waiting room as well, a clinical st space for imaging staff. So this is a big day. It's a big day for the community, one that it brings care closer to home, which is critical for timely, timely uh, diagnosis and treatment planning. And it will also save lives and improve people's health.